Yo guys, welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be saying a few things that you could do if you're bored, quarantine like I am, and you don't know what to do. So these are a few challenges that you could try and do on pacey bits, like if you want to try and get some things done. So as you can see, I literally don't play the game this year. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be trying to do it daily. If you give me suggestions, I'll do whatever you want really because nothing else to do um so a draft challenge you could try and do you could try get a 194 now this might take you a while but if you just keep going into the drafts game formation i would recommend doing a three at the back formation because there are better center backs as there are like left back right back unless you get like robertson and trent so um you can try and get as good draft as you can get and if you try and get a one nine a 194 and you send it to me um then i'll be pretty impressed Number two is if you just do daily objectives, you just try and complete the daily objectives every day. Uh, like draft of the week, 93 plus players min five. If you just try and do all the challenges, you get some uh, rewards for it as well. So that'd be quite cool to do. Daily objectives and weekly, obviously. I think I showed weekly. Another cool challenge you could try and do is try and complete one of these. Like when you complete them, you get some really cool cards. Remember last year you had the, um, I'll show you. You had the like Dybala and all that. Now um, them cards look really cool and they're like quite cool to show to your mates. So uh, I would recommend trying to do them. Like they're like these, so if you've never had one, like that is a cool card that you have to get from completing the SBCs. Now if you don't know how to complete them, you can just search the tutorials up on YouTube, and then you can try and trade or try and pack, depending on how many players you have, to get them. So, if I was to do any of these, I haven't actually ever looked at these. The coolest one I think to get, I'd, I'd say Fernando Torres or Mo Salah, but out of the red ones, I'd probably get Zinchenko, because... He's Premier League left back, Man City, obviously, or even Chamberlain. That'd be quite a cool centre mid. But as you can see, it's a difficulty in the top right hard. So if you try to complete Fernando Torres, I'd probably take you a lot longer than it would take to do Michael Keane or Goodmanson, for example. Another challenge you could try and do is complete the online draft or get yourself to Div One in versus. Now they're two quite cool challenges, and if you get to Div One, then fair play. I've never done this. As you can see, these are my best cards. Oh, I what the hell is that? I think I'd take it they've lost copyrights to Flemers, quality player. But for the for pacey bits, I did see quite a lot of this going on in group chat and I didn't really know what it was on about. But I'll see what they're on about. Uh, another challenge you could try and do is try and jailbreak your phone. I wouldn't really recommend this, but if you jailbreak it, you can get unlimited packs, you can get unlimited coins. You can search up tutorial, but they are quite hard to do and if you like... Unless you actually know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Another thing you try and do is trading to glory. Um, so you could have zero coins and just try and get like one mil from literally doing anything. Just call yourself trading to glory and see how far you can go. But I think that's, that'd be quite a cool thing to do. You could just do it in your bed. Or you could just set up a YouTube channel and start doing it like that. Completing the DBCs in the draft, that's also something that's quite cool to do. Uh, so what's my DBC? Real Madrid players min three. So that shouldn't be too difficult. And then you get packs at the end of the week. So um, I think that's quite a cool one to do. This is really weird, but there you go. There's one Real Madrid player. Wait, wait, I think it's Real Madrid player and 100 chem. So if you just go for a La Liga team, La Liga Santander, then you should easily complete this. Something else you could try and do is try and complete this. Um, what position? I was go centre mid. And you can just try and get well, as high rated as you want, really. And I think that this is something that's quite cool to do. As you can see, I've never done this. Um, so if you complete them, I think the high, yeah, the LTM, I think every time you get them it goes up, so I think getting that to as high range as you can to flex on your mates, that would be quite cool, and obviously that's something that's only there for limited time, so you can only take advantage of a certain amount of time, so uh, I would recommend that, and I probably will be doing some videos on Bingo that are coming up this week, we're going to try and do every day, so give me video ideas, and one final thing, and you do get a badge for this, actually yeah, you could just do collections, or... Where, where is it? Badges. You can just try and complete loads of the badges, special badges. Look, so finish a weekly DBC in the top ten, or win EPL, win the top, draw, beat the biggest clubs, conquer the rest of Europe. It's stuff like that. You can try and complete all these badges. But something that'd be cool is I don't, I don't know which badge it is, but complete the whole of the like. If you you've got so much time off, like you got like five months. What if you're not if you're not at school and you can't go out? Um, just do uh, try and complete all the cards just literally try and get all the cards that'd be quite cool to do one final thing actually you should do discard packs so say look so i'm gonna go get a pack a 
open pack. Oh my, my, I don't know about them. They, they God, it's been a while. Um, special pack, 120k. Now, if you've got a stats club, then you might this this will probably be more beneficial to you. So, if I had duplicate Marco, Marcus Alonso, so if I go and search up Witzel, because that's my highest rated in there. If I don't hit the crossbar in three attempts, then you have to discard them, something like that. You know what I mean? So it's just a little challenge. And if you if you hit it, then you get to keep the player. Just a little like challenge for yourself. So you can also play out in the garden and get some exercise. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, it's just a few ideas. I don't know how many it will be, but it will probably be around 10 ideas of what you can do to pace your bits when you're bored. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will be completing some of these this week and trying some of them for myself. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you like. But yeah, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and peace.